All right, so right now, headed to the turkey spot. We saw turkeys out there earlier. There's probably close to 30 of them. I'm gonna go scout them, see if I can make a couple gobble. I wanna see where they're roosting at, hopefully. Um, bringing my sister along. Um, kinda worried about red hair, but you know, we'll figure it out. Worst comes to worst, I know they'll be back by turkey season. So I'm gonna kinda keep her hidden behind me. I'm gonna let her wear my hat since I have brown hair. Um, haven't got all the turkey stuff I need yet. As in clothing wise, I just put a pair of green cargo pants on. But we're gonna go down here, gonna fill some turkeys. Hopefully there's a couple of big gobblers in there and come April 8th, we're gonna put one on the ground. But yeah, we're gonna have Hunter, my friend, film that. So we're going down here, see how close we can get to him without spooking him. Hopefully we can get pretty close, but I'll catch you when we get there. Right. We're almost to the spot, we're walking down to it right now. Parked back there. We got about another 100 yards to where we're at, where the turkeys are. They're out there right now whenever we pass by, we saw them. So, yeah. About to go look at these turkeys and see what's going on. I'm gonna call at them. We're probably gonna get within 80 yards of them for sure and call at them, see what's going on. But, yeah, we should get pretty close. Hopefully get them to gobble. It's late in the afternoon. They should go on their roost in about the next 30 minutes. So we can get them to gobble. That'd be pretty cool, especially on film. But, yeah catch y'all back whenever we're videoing them because they're out there right now there's probably 30 to 40 of them right here where we're going and then there's probably 20 others on the other side that we saw so we about to get y'all some live action <laughs> just got we're probably 100 yards from the turkeys right now there's a oh he's trotting on up Just finished calling. Um, got him to gobble with two times that I know of. I think it was three, but I don't know if it was him. I think it was one back over here. We got probably 25-ish turkeys right there. I know there's more that stay with them because there's more right over there. We had a hen try to come in behind us, and I know she got close. It's just there's a fence between us. She tried to come in back here where these hay bales are. She just didn't want to go over the fence, but she was probably 50 yards from us. But come opening day of turkey season hoping that guy gets close because that's a big old gobbler oh i just heard him ah. he 
anyways, I might use some footage from my sister's home. She says she got a good video of him gobbling, so that's good. But yeah, we're gonna skedaddle on out of here. I got what I wanted, got him to gobble. So yeah, we're about to skedeet. Just got back from the truck. We got him to gobble two times, two or three, don't know. But it was, no, it was three. One, I cut the camera off right before he gobbled. That freaking sucks. Got him to gobble two times on the camera where you can hear it. So that's pretty neat. April 8th. Should come out here opening morning smoke one. No guarantees, but that's what we're hoping. Hoping it's him. From a distance on the phone, you can't see as good. But from me to him, I can see his beard. It was, I'd say it's a good nine, 10 inch beard. It's a really good size. Um, yeah, he's a good turkey though. So we're probably at closest 80 yards, eight, 70 to 80 whenever. He kind of moved in a little bit more. Whenever I started calling, the opening one, I should be able to go out there, set up right where there was at, up against this big old oak tree sitting out there. Might wrap a little mesh around, but should smoke one open in the morning with a boat. Trying to do it with a boat, so let's go. It gets me fired up. <laughs>